So we are getting to wiring this dash and I do, I swear by this pontoonstuff.com harness. Sometimes the switch panels are not always available as of late with COVID and everything. Uh, it's been hard to get all those accessories. So I'm using their harness and whenever possible, I'm gonna use their switch panel too because it just plug and plays. In this case, I've cut everything free and we're gonna wire it to this switch panel. This is how it comes. Uh, actually just got this off of Amazon. They're about 50 bucks. This is a four switch. I think it was a little bit cheaper. Uh, but it's just a real basic. It has a 12 volt and a USB plug. And this is where people usually freak out. They look at the back side. This is how it comes in the box. And they do give you a little, I guess they call it a wiring diagram. So we've got our powered in. We have two 15 amp fuses that are in line that are gonna run power to the USB and power to your 12 volt charger. And then those jump to the switches. And then we also have a yellow wire. That's actually a ground, that's a negative. Uh, that's gonna be your lower dash light. So that's if you want those lights to just stay on. And then that blue is to keep those lights on. I don't want my lights on all the time. In fact, the way that this comes, you have those red power wires, and then you've got a yellow, that's a ground for the dash lights. The blue is power for the dash lights, and then black is your main ground. So it, actually to run this, I tested on a battery and I've rearranged mine. I don't want all these lights, these blue indicator lights on all the time. I only want them to come on when I flip the switch on. Also, if you hook straight power to this the way it's wired, this little USB will light up and will stay on all the time, I guess, unless you had a battery switch. So we're gonna put this one back in the box because I've already opened another one and I'm gonna rearrange things here. So I'm actually going to omit the yellow ground and that blue wire because I don't want those to be on all the time. I don't want these switches on and I don't want my USB light on. So what I'm gonna do there, look at mine versus the brand new one. So the brand new one, this power cord runs to the USB, which is why it's always got power and that back LED is always on. I'm gonna unhook that from there and my main power is gonna run to this first switch. Then I'm gonna run an accessory wire from, these are all where my accessory wire power wires are gonna, are gonna come off. So I'm actually gonna run an accessory wire up here so that when I power this switch on, I get power to my USB plug. And then this, so this one will just get capped. We'll just put a nice cap on that, tape it off so power can't jump. But we have a jumper over to this next switch to power this accessory. The 12 volt only draws power when you have something plugged in taking positive and negative, so I'm not worried about this one. But a lot of these switch panels are similar and you might have to modify, that's why I'm showing you this. But I'm gonna make it work for me. So I'm gonna run a jumper from this first switch over here, which will actually be our last switch over here. I'm gonna run that up, that will power my USB plug in case I wanna use that. So here's my jumper wire. We jumped from the accessory switch up to our USB plug. That way, when I turn this switch on, my USB will be powered and then that light doesn't have to stay on all the time. So now I'm gonna cap off this yellow and the blue. We'll put butt splices on those and just leave them because we're not gonna connect to them. And then I'm gonna run power connecting both of these power inputs. So I'll splice these into one butt splice and then I'll splice my ground in, and those will just correspond straight to our power in from the heart, our main wiring harness uh, for accessories and our ground as well. So here we go. We've got our switch that's right under the USB. That's gonna power our USB. Then these middle switches, this boat doesn't have anything right now, but on these middle switches, we could add a positive to either of those as long as it ties into our ground uh, or the battery at some point it could tie into this wire or the harness ground is out there as well but those could also just be uh, tied in we have a couple extra wires accessory wires from our main harness that I'm going to cap off here we have a brown with an orange stripe that's a live well pump or an accessory of any sort then the black with gray is actually 
uh, docking lights or headlights for the boat. Our navigation lights, what we actually did on this, because there's not a full-on navigation switch, which gives you front um, bow lights with your anchor light and then anchor only, I put them in together into a female connector. And that is powered by this first switch. So that'll turn on our bow lights and anchor lights all at the same time. Uh, they're LEDs, so it's not going to put a huge drain on the system if you left them on for a while together if you were anchored without the boat moving. Not a big deal. I'd rather have too many lights, I think, than not enough. I did go ahead and ran the docking lights or headlights while you're in here, so it's ready to go if he wants to add that. And then all we got to do is cap off the docking lights up front. Just leave them accessible, and at least that way they can be used, uh, but they won't draw power if that switch stays on. Uh, they won't actually be hooked to anything, but they'll be accessible for future use. And that is installed on the dash. Again, USB, our navigation lights, docking lights, and then there is an accessory wire. Those are just capped off uh, back in the boat that could be used later. So that's this switch panel being used with the pontoonstuff.com harness. All in all, pretty simple, pretty straightforward, and it's gonna work really well for this application.